YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is May 25th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 81 of this year. Listen folks, if you follow me here on this YouTube platform and you have been a long-term subscriber of the YouTube channel, you probably recognize this little pond that is behind me. It has been actually nearly six months since I have come to this particular location. I shot my first video of 2019 on January 1st, exactly at this spot, right? If you guys recognize it, I named this place the, bow fit, the bowhead pond, right? And that's because I caught so many brown bowhead the Ameurus nebulosus during the winter time. I think when I came here last time, it was like a mild day of winter. Half of the pond was kind of frozen and half was open. I fished around this portion of the pond. But as you folks know, when I do species assessments out there, there is a big difference between coming to a watershed during the winter and during the summer, right? So six months later, here am I, and I guess the main objective for today will be for us to see if there's anything else in this pond besides the brown bow head, okay? I have heard rumors, I have heard rumors that there are other species around here, especially um, a very interesting species, you know, it may be in here. So I got my trusted kernel corn, check it out, <laughs> we got the 50 cents, right? Canned corn with us today. And I'm just gonna walk all around, explore, and see what we can pull from this place. What do you guys think, huh? Is it really only the brown bowhead? Or is there actually anything else in this place? Stay tuned, and we shall find out. This is actually quite interesting. I'm getting my stuff set up over here. And as I am getting my stuff set up, I can already see some kind of fish very likely a sunfish right over here i don't know if they're spawning or if they're batting or what they're doing creating a nest but there's a bunch and i repeat a bunch of sunfish right over here so you know what i'm gonna do first i'm just going to tie a regular hook no weight and i'm just gonna cast some corn around that bed because i don't think i have that species over here yet man it's right in there I think it is still in there. I can see very well, but it's all, it's all or nothing, man. Oh, I knew it. It's right there, dude. Come on. I knew it. Fish on. Yeah, what we got here? D. It is a green sunfish. Ooh, so there's a bunch of green sunfish, and this one fell in the mud. Let me clean it out a little bit. All right, first fish of the day. This is a species, as you guys can see, I did not land over here when it was winter time, right? So there is some of the Lepomis cyanellus. All right, pretty cool, isn't it? Haha, uh -huh. who would have thought huh, that the Lepomis cyanellus, aka the green sunfish, would be in this little pond as well? I mean, this pond is so shallow. And to think that they are able to actually survive the winter when they have ice over here, right? Lepomis cyanellus, truly a very sturdy species of fish. Because as you folks know, in little ponds like this, where the water is too shallow, there is a lot of winter kills, right? So I'm actually very glad to see that a brown bowhead is not the only species in this place. Now the main question is, is that the only species of Lepomis around the area? Or is there anything else there you go another one and it's all green sunfish i think i don't know is this what it is yeah look another green sunfish i'm actually fascinated by it by the fact that it's not just one or two green sunfish around the area but there's actually a whole population of little green sunfish and highly parasitic too. You see these little black dots over here? These are actually flat worms, right? They are all around this area. Wow. Okay, now we have to see if there are some other species around here. 
I have to say that this is actually fascinating. Six months ago, winter time, not a single green sunfish bite. Now, it's like one, one green sunfish per cast. Look at that. I caught these three like in a heartbeat. They barely fit in the photo oh, tank. Oh, one's kind of, you know, upside down. All right, let me release all of them here. They're probably super pissed. Okay. One already went. The other two can go back. Man, oh, this water. This water quality, too, is like very questionable water quality. You guys see this, man? It's like a whole layer of something on top. Ugh. Oh, there's a big ass napping turtle right here. Very questionable water quality. Oh, fish on. On the inline spinner. On the inline spinner. And it is a green sunfish. Oh, dang, son. This is like, <laughs> this is like a repetition of our winter fishing session, but instead of brown bowheads, it is now green sunfish. I decided to put on a little EP series inline spinner. See if maybe there's a little bass in the spawn, something like that. Nothing yet. Oh, 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 dude. My gulp is down. I got something on the gulp. What is it? On the gulp minnow. Is that a catfish on the gulp, bro? Oh, my goodness, brother. Woo. Okay, the catfish are so hungry here. The brown bowhead, the Amiurus nebulosus, that they actually will hit the gulp. I'm using a one ounce gulp minnow or a 164 ounce jig. Yeah, little Amiurus nebulosus, you know, because the barbels, the chin down here, right, are half white, half black. They have tinges of black. The way to distinguish the brown from the yellow is not by the color of its body. It is actually by these, okay? If these are entirely white, 100%, you have the Ameurus natalis, the yellow bowhead. Otherwise, it is a brown. And the black bowhead, the Ameurus malus, is definitely not here. Interesting. Well, let me get my jig back here without putting my mouth, right, in the mouth of the bowhead, because, oh, 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 their grip is like brutal. You never want to push your finger in the mouth of a bowhead, okay? It will get you. They have really powerful jaws. Species number two of the day, little bowhead. It's still not what I'm looking for, but you know, better than a green sunfish. There's something on here. What? I didn't even feel it. What is it? Is it a fish? Is it a turtle? Eee, bro. I don't know. Why does it feel like it's a turtle? Oh, man. The gold's so juicy. Even the turtles like it. Is it a turtle? Yeah, it's a turtle. Dang, bro, son. What type of turtle is this? Hopefully, it is not a snapping, a snapping turtle. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. Okay, come up here, son. Come up here, son. Let me take care of you. Oh, it was hooked on the behind. It was hooked on the behind. Hey, come back, come back, come back. Dang, man, that's what I don't like about turtles at all. Okay, come here, come here, come here. See, it's a turtle, man. Hooked on the behind leg. I can take it off, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, red ear, I would say it's a red ear slider, right? Little red ear slider, decided to get my stuff. I'm sorry, buddy, you know, man. I'm not here to catch turtles, okay? For real, here, you can go. Um, buddy, um, you, 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 can, uh, you can go, bro. It's sticking its head, poking its head out a little bit here. You can go, dude. Go! Do you need a little push? <laughs> I don't know. I don't see my target species anywhere around here. I only see this green sunfish one after another. Only green sunfish. 
may have to do a little bit of exploring now to to find the stuff that I'm looking for. I mean, these are beautiful fish, don't take me wrong, but dang, man, it's all the same. Well, the main lake doesn't really have anything cool. Let's check the spillway. Whew. Vegetation around the spillway area is pretty heavy. Oh man, a lot of uh, movement down there. Who knows, right? Maybe there's something around here. Oh my goodness. I think I found them. Holy cow. I found them, I found them. Holy cow, they are right there. They are right there. This is real. They exist and they are here. Now I have to be careful not to spook them. We struck gold, folks. This is it. Wow, so easy too. I don't know how well you guys can see it or not. Right around there, there are like five speckles of orange in the water. I don't know if you can see with all this glare or not, but that is what I've been looking for today, all right? We struck gold, like literally, because that is the goldfish, the Carassius auratus, an invasive species of fish that should not be out here. So I don't know what pet owner kind of released them over here. Now let's see if we are we're actually able to land one of those. That's the main question. I think this is going to be a tough task. Yep, this is no doubt going to be a tough task. This place is infested with green sunfish. The ratio of green sunfish to goldfish is over here is probably three to one. Meaning for each goldfish that there is in this place, there are probably like three green sunfish. I'm trying to use a size 18 hook to get them on the corn. They are right over there. I don't know if I will be able to do it, but I will certainly try. Dang, this is gonna be rough, man. Oh my goodness, you, this is a hybrid. This is not even a green sunfish, son. Wow. I mean, this doesn't count as a new species for today, but this is a, this is a hybrid between a green sunfish and a bluegill. That's interesting, fascinating. And all my goldfish kind of dispersed. Boy, oh boy, what is this hybrid doing here? A bluegill, green sunfish, hybrid how did it get here does that mean that there are some bluegill around the area that i haven't caught yet all kinds of mystery <laughs> all kinds of mystery question the more you catch them more questions kind of come come to me yeah little hybrid fascinating okay let me release it over here and we'll resume our quest for catching the goldfish goldfish right over there dude goldfish right over there Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, I've been after this fish for about 90 minutes now. Worms, corn, I mean, they're hiding under the weeds now, so I can't even spot them now. I only see one over there, and there's possibly another one over here. I'm, I'm ready to give up on them. You know what? <laughs> they do say that there are a few of them on the pond above, so I think I'm going to go to the pond above and uh, just blind cast for it for the rest of the day just throw there with some corn and you know hopefully there are some bigger ones they'll bite on it if not at least we catch some catfish right oh man we gotta bite on the worm this worm is like barely on the hook but apparently the fish love it just a little tiny piece of night crawler it's on little bowhead all bowhead, no goldfish. Yeah, look at that, huh? Little tiny bowhead and whatever it's feeding on down there. It's pretty fat. <laughs> it's pretty damn fat. Okay, I already took photos of the bowhead today, so quick unhook here. There we have it, huh? I got my little night crawler back. That's all I'm using. Just gotta release it right over there. Boom, back it goes. 
Mm -hmm. They got a hit on the corn. Looks like there's a fish on. It was a very light bite though. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's on. Another bowhead. No man, this place has got so many bowheads. Look at that, huh? All about the size too. Uh huh. -huh. And whatever they're eating down there, they're fitting pretty good too. Look at this gut. But our target species, nowhere to be found. Alrighty, there we go, little fella. You can go. Today has been a really rough day out here. I think I'm about ready to call it a day, for real. Oh, man. You guys only get to see a 10, 15 minutes YouTube video. But I have been out here for hours. And let me tell you, today was a tough day of fishing. Now, don't take me wrong. This little pond right here is actually loaded with fish. So people who have kids, right, or young ones, or, or people who just got into the sport, this is like the perfect spot to actually take them to go fishing because the action is just like non-stop, right? You put a little piece of night crawler in the water and less than two minutes, literally less than two minutes, you have a bite from like a brown bowhead, the Ameiurus nebulosus, right? And right now the green sunfish, the Lepomycianellus, they are like right over there close to you. So it's all beautiful and good. But when it comes to my fishing, my target species of the day, right, the goldfish, the Carassius auditus, it just did not bite. They were like right there, right in front of me. I try worms, I try corn, I try to entice them to feed. All I caught, I caught were like a bunch of green sunfish and green sunfish bluegill hybrids, right? And, and I mean, this, this video is really to show that when you are, go, when you are out there, doing multi-species fishing or even live listing and you are looking for a particular species of fish finding them is really the only is like the first step because the second step you have to entice them to bite and that sometimes is just extremely hard I may come here in the future with a little bit of bread to see if they're going to bite on that but otherwise I don't think I will come back here for quite a while Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video, folks. I appreciate it. Hopefully, next fishing session is going to be a little bit more exciting than this, right? I'm going to be looking for some new species of fish this week, so it should be good. Tight lines and take it easy. Oh, oh, easy, son, easy. This one's on. Oh, hell yeah. Dinner coming up. Got to real fast over here because there's a snag right in front here. <laughs> 